So some sad news this morning that a fighter from uh, Newcastle, my city, has died. Scott Westgarth, who's 31 years old, fighting out of Sheffield. And he had a fight on Saturday night at the Doncaster Dome, where he got a points victory over Dex Spellman. And he even managed to do an interview after the fight as well. But as you can see in the pictures, he don't look too good. But immediately after the fight, he went to the backstage, still feeling unwell, so they rushed him to hospital. And it's confirmed this morning at 8 o'clock that he actually died. Um, I mean, this kind of thing is becoming more and more regular, I suppose you could say, in the sense that not only are these boxers dying, but, you know, they're getting brain injuries, they're getting put in induced comas. I mean, I mean how many fighters can you name in just a the last 12 months that these kind of things have happened and it's just becoming more and more regular um it's one of those things that of course his opponent is going to be feeling real bad about it i mean this dex spellman i mean he's got to be there this morning dreading this news because obviously he would have known that uh, scott would have been rushed to hospital and when this kind of thing happens then in some ways you've got to kind of blame yourself, right? And hopefully Dex Bowman doesn't blame himself. It's a, an unfortunate thing that happens. And it's the risk that you take when you get into the ring, right? And it's not always the punches on the night that cause these injuries. And what have you. A lot of it's the training. It's the sparring. It's the pressure. You know, there's a lot of things. And of course, if you're... A fighter and you're not feeling too good before the fight if you're getting regular headaches and things like that you should probably tell somebody you know don't just be a tough guy because you think oh well i'll be all right i'll just get through this fight and then i'll rest it doesn't always work that way so i mean how this guy was feeling before the fight i don't know um but either way it's very very sad and this is one of the things you see this is why i say certain fighters out there who say i want a body on my record when they do the pre-fight heap, or a heat even, sorry, where, you know, they want to try and build up the fight to the point where they say, that, you know, I want to kill you, and, I mean, for me, these kind of people need to be fined, because these kind of things do happen, and of course it's not intentional, you're getting punched in the head. Now, apparently in this fight, I, I'm, of course I didn't watch it, this is in Doncaster, both of these guys went to war, both of them hit the canvas, and it was an absolute battle it really was and scott ultimately won on points but that's kind of irrelevant if you think you're putting your life at risk for what a little w on your record it's kind of i don't know it's very very sad very very sad and it's one of those unfortunate things of course every fighter knows this is what they're getting into that's what you sign up for right but no fighter actually believes it's really going to happen right until it happens and you could be feeling perfectly fine going there and then this happens but more importantly as i said, said earlier if you're getting headaches and if you're getting kind of all kinds of like, like, like these problems dizzy spells or whatever before you get into the fight you know what i mean maybe don't turn up maybe get your doctor to properly check you out and again i mean are these guys are they properly checked out we don't know other than just ask a few questions, as in, you're feeling okay. Because most fighters, they're, you know, they're warriors. They're going to say, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. But really, they're not. And hopefully, the coaches, the trainers can take a bit more of a look at their fighter. Especially in between rounds as well. Where, but, of course, you could have put it down to fatigue. And, of course, right after the fight, you can, you can see he's just not feeling very well at all. So, I don't know. Very, very sad. So I thought prayers and everything with his family. And it's a very, very sad day for boxing. And you know that there's going to be some kind of consequences from these kind of things. Because it's happening more and more. Not just deaths, as I say, but obviously um, fighters being put in comas. And brain damage and all this kind of thing. And I can see one day that they're going to try either ban boxing. Or make the professional fighters wear head guards and... All this kind of thing. But anyway, very, very sad. Scott Westgarth, Scott Westgarth, 31 years old, from Newcastle originally, fighting out of Sheffield, 
died this morning and the news was broke at 8am. Anyway, drop your thoughts below. Catch you on the next one.